and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel. And today we're moving into one of my favorite tools, probably one of my most commonly used tools around the house and at my work box. So this is gonna be great for both do-it-yourselfers and professionals. Obviously, if you're a professional, you probably already own this tool, but if you don't, you're gonna to wanna to go with the higher brand. Uh, but if you're a do-it-yourselfer, I have those as well. So we're gonna go over the many different brands that I have, show you the features, and show you how these will help you in those pain in the butt situations. This is going to save you from running back and forth to your toolbox trying to get that fastener off. This is a fantastic tool and uh, if you haven't got these, I would suggest them to you. But let's get into this. If you enjoyed, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thank you guys. So yes, what we're looking at is a very, very simple product and it's been around forever. And that is the extension. But, well I wouldn't say recently, but the newer version is a fantastic tool. So obviously everybody knows about the standard extension. This is from GearWrench. You can get a four piece set. Comes in a nice little blow molded tray. Fantastic. They even have magnetic ones, uh, backlit ones, locking extensions, and many other styles. Now the locking extensions are also great in case you don't want to lose your socket down in an area. But one of my favorite and most used tool as far as extensions is the wobble. The wobble or wobble plus if you go through snap-on. But as you can tell, I have many different brands here. I have SunX Impact Grade wobble extensions. I have GearWrench all through drive size wobble extensions. I have snap-on wobble plus extensions. And your cheaper Pittsburgh wobble extensions. Now, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, the, the Pittsburgh or the gear wrench will work fine. Uh, I have never had an issue with them. I can't remember who, but somebody said uh, they do tend to break more often than the snap-on ones. Well, obviously, they're going to be lower quality, so they're not going to be as strong as the snap-on version. But if you're just doing work around the house, you're not going to be using these every single day and putting them to their max test every day whereas a professional would be using them much more often and would need a tool that's much more reliable. But as far as do-it-yourself work, Pittsburgh and GearWrench are going to do you just fine. So I'm going to show you an up-close of these and then uh, kind of show you the differences, and then I'll show you why they're so great. What we have here are Wobble extensions and Wobble Plus extensions, and then they have a few different designs. Snap-on, I believe, was the first one to come out with the design of the Wobble feature, but many other makers make the wobble extension. So if you're a do-it-yourselfer, the gear wrench and the Pittsburgh are gonna do fine for you. And then the SunX is gonna be good for both your professional and do-it-yourselfer. And then the Snap-on is probably gonna be a little bit pricey for your average do-it-yourselfer. So these are mainly gonna be for your professional mechanics. Now with the Pittsburgh set, you're gonna get a set of around 12 extensions. These are just the three that I have out as an example. These are just going to be a wobble extension. As you can tell, at the base of the oval, there is no uh, seat for a regular extension. So these are just going to be wobble feature extensions. And that set's going to run you around $10 to $20. And then the SunX extensions, these are just wobble extensions as well. No base at the bottom, but they work great, and each set is going to run about $30 to $35. And then the gear wrench sets, all three drive sizes, you can pick up each drive size for about 10 to 30 or 20 to 30 dollars a set. And that is the Wobble Plus extension. Gear wrench has included the base at the bottom of their wobble. As you can tell here, they have this base for the socket to sit on if you want to use this as a normal extension. Or you can push the socket forward for that wobble feature of about, usually wobble extensions are 14 to 16 degrees of angle. And then the snap-on set, the 3H drive set, is gonna run you about 70 to 100 with the discount and about $200 without the discount. And then the quarter inch drive set is gonna run you $70 without or with discount and about 150 without the discount. But 
these you can also get in wobble or wobble plus depending on what you prefer so here you can really see snap-on has exaggerated that base to really hold that socket really well when you want to use it as your average extension and then you push it forward once again for that wobble feature now they also have a few different head designs as you can tell these differ in the shape of the wobble feature here you have a bigger uh, diameter at the top and a smaller base whereas this design which is the more popular design is more of an oval shape and has a smaller diameter at the top and bottom and is thicker in the center and then you have that base at the bottom as well but I'll show you the bases compared to the snap-on so here's both 3.8 snap-on and gear wrench you can really see how snap-on has exaggerated that base and it actually comes in really handy if you prefer the wobble extension or the wobble plus extensions so i'm going to show you the operation of both the wobble and the wobble plus now just because the extension is just a wobble doesn't mean that it won't kind of operate as a normal extension here you can see this is the pittsburgh just normal extension uh, you get that wobble feature but if you press it down you still do get that standard extension no play right there but you have to maintain a kind of a press fit in order to use it as a normal extension and basically what that's doing instead of sitting on a base that ball detent is just going past the detent in the base of the socket which is preventing it from wobbling so it's not necessarily a non wobble action because you kind of have to keep pressure on the socket now granted it will stay like that but it easily pops off into wobble feature so even though it is just a wobble uh, extension it still does kind of work as a normal extension whereas with the gear wrench extension you have that base so when you apply your socket you have your standard extension and it's not going to easily pop off the base for that wobble feature so if you want to use it as a normal extension super easy want it as a wobble feature you just simply push it forward off of that base and you get that wobble feature and granted this isn't going to be as much of an angle as your standard universal socket uh, or you know your flex sockets so these are really handy so you don't have to keep running back for your or universal sockets this you can simply grab your uh, socket and grab your extension and you have both a standard and a wobble feature extension for those small angles that you need to get where you might not want that floppy socket on the end of your extension and then you have the snap-on wobble plus extension where it has that exaggerated base which works great for holding it as a standard extension works fantastic now some people don't like this because when they get the wobble extension they get it specifically for the wobble feature and they're afraid that when using it as the wobble extension it might push on to and activate the normal extension but you really actually have to apply some force to get it on there and if you're at an angle the chances of you pushing it onto that base to turn it into a normal extension is pretty rare especially with that exaggerated base with the snap-on you get a little bit more of an angle than you do with the gear wrench and pittsburgh uh, so you can get in those more pain in the butt situations these are great for working down on like bell housing bolts that are at an angle and you got to have a long extension you can also adapt your wobble extensions in order to really get at those awkward situations if you use a lot of extensions yes it's going to be weaker but you're going to be able to get in those really awkward situations so now i'm just going to show you a real quick example of how handy these really are so this is just an example i could clearly get in here i'm going to use this as an example this is an intake manifold bolt um, i'm going to use this as an example i could easily just get in here uh, on this fastener with just a ratchet and socket without an extension but as an example you can see the fastener sits at an angle and goes towards the center where the carb sits so with your standard extension 
you couldn't sit flush on that fastener because of the carb mounting point right here, the center of the intake manifold. So you can't really get at it. But if you have a wobble plus extension, you get that angle and try to do this from behind the camera. Here you can see it easily sits down on the head of the fastener. So this is just an example. Obviously I could easily get to it without the uh, extension, but that is just an example of having that little bit of an angle and how handy that can really be. And then it saves you from going back to your toolbox and getting a different extension. You can simply use it as your standard extension. Alrighty YouTubers, so that is one of my favorite tools and as you can see having that small angle with the wobble feature extensions can be really handy. Now that was just an example but when working on automotive cars uh, you will definitely find yourself in a lot of those situations, a lot more than you care to be working on. Um, so it's a lot handier than having those universal sockets like this, like this where over time these might become uh, loose and floppy and then you have to end up wrapping electrical tape around them to try and hold them in the position you need. And granted sometimes you will need these and these are a fantastic tool, uh, but sometimes you don't need that exaggerated angle like that and you just need to get a small angle on it. Those wobble extensions work fantastic. So whether you're a professional or a do-it-yourselfer, these extensions are fantastic. So whether you're a do-it-yourselfer and you want to save some money and go Pittsburgh or Gear Wrench, you're going to have your lifetime warranty there, easy to replace. Or if you're a professional and you need that higher grade, more reliable extension, Snap-on has them. Yes, they're a little pricey. You're going to have your lifetime warranty and a great product though. So I think it's great for anybody and it really helps you out. Saves you from a huge headache on some of those pain in the butt fasteners. So that's why I really enjoy Wobble extensions. So it's just up to you to decide which brand and whether you want Wobble or Wobble Plus extensions. But I really enjoy them. Let me know what you guys think of them. Let me know what brand you guys prefer uh, and the type of work that you do. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And as always, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you.